Now, we do want you to try this at home, but it's got to be safe. Look at the environment we're in. We got trees on both sides, We've got lots of space. There's no parking lot behind us. Uh, there's, to the side of us, there's no houses around, so you need a nice wide open field to do this in. And the first throw that we're going to do, and by the way, we get this question all the time, especially now Moo and speed training. It's, um, you know, I got a pretty good swing, but what is it that I need to focus on to get more distance? Mm -hmm. The answer I give them is, well, you just got to throw farther. So here's what we're going to do. You want to stick with us right here because Moo and I are going to have a competition. So think about it this way. If I'm a pitcher and I just caught a grounder and I, I got plenty of time to get the guy out at first base, it's going to look like this. But then if I'm home, you know, at home plate, I'm the catcher, somebody stealing second base and I need to gun one, I really didn't have to think about what I was doing. I just saw the picture. And it's the same thing when we talk about, you know, touch around the greens for putting and chipping. If I give Moo a ball, I say, hey, Moo, toss the ball gently into my hand. How'd you know it was that far? Because we're gravity experts. And if I say, hey, Moo, right here on my chest. <laughs> See what I mean? So it changes the, the, the um, complexion of the swing entirely depending upon how you see things. So in order for you to have a powerful golf swing, the key is throwing the club. So let's start with a nice overhand toss. So I'm going to grab one of the clubs that you got right there. Okay. <clears throat> now you typically, when you do a tennis serve, you do yeah. that with which arm? Right hand. Your right hand? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. show me a tennis serve and throw one out there. Throw it, actually throw it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that looks good. This, he's got a pretty good serve, doesn't he, Sav? Yeah, it's it's getting get there. I've been working on it. <laughs> All right. Well, that looks that yeah. looks really good. Thanks. So notice because you were facing that way, it yeah. was really easy to throw straight. Correct. So now grab another club and okay. let's throw it underhand. So if you're going to throw it underhand, yeah, you would go with the left hand. The left hand. So yeah. He's ambidextrous. Yeah. So go ahead and take it with the left hand. Let's see you throw it toward that club. Okay. Beautiful. So you notice it went just a little bit more to the right. Yeah, I could have started it. But more. that was really good. Yeah. So if I put a intermediate point down, okay. let's see you stay left of that club okay. with your throw. All right. There you go, man. So notice. I'm just a little nervous because you're right on the left side. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> Protecting. You know. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, buddy. We're taking the talent. <laughs> so, so notice, but that was closer. That was straighter. Yeah, yeah. When you throw from the side, it's important that you use an intermediate point right here. And as a righty, if I'm going to throw one, yeah, I'm going to stay to the right edge of that. See that? That's the only way I can throw accurately, because what happens if I face you? and I make a throw, Moo's getting it, right? Because I'm, I'm facing you, it's gonna go that way. So if I'm gonna face you again this way, I'm gonna be throwing dead left. This is what happens to our students when they throw it for the first time. Yeah. You remember that, that rookie video you had? Your eyes were like big like dinner plates. Yeah, I kept poking it. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe it's going over there. Yeah. I'm, I'm throwing there, but it ends up there. And that's because both hands hunt, handcuffed on your, on your structure yeah you really have to use an intermediate point to throw because if you face this way we're you know as a righty i'd be throwing it dead left yeah so now if i put both hands on the club i'm going to keep my feet on this side of that and i'm going to throw it to the right of it so right of it there we go that's on the clubs so i'm going to give it a nice little throw in that direction so i'll give it a little bit of momentum and throw it to the right of that. So notice the club is staying to the right of this. I'm not going to pull it to the left. Right. And that's really, really important for you when you're throwing the club for the first time. It's going to go either that way or that way. It won't go in that direction. Now, when you throw properly, the legs are going to engage. Okay. Yeah. 
And when the legs engage, you're going to feel some up and down motion. So there's a tree behind us at 82 yards. The world record is at 199 feet for throwing a club in the Guinness Book of World Records. I broke it unofficially a while back last year. Uh -huh. I threw it at 71 yards. Okay. Okay, about 210 plus feet. Okay. Right? <laughs> of course, it's unofficial. But today, yeah. I'm challenging you, man. I yeah. know you can knock the cover off the ball, and you're about 100 yards past me when we both smoke it. Yeah. Because I'm smoking at 320, and you're smoking at 420. <laughs> okay? <laughs> just, just one more digit. Yeah. And so, but I think I can take you. Oh, I, I like that challenge. I can take you. You're on, man. I'm going to take you on this. All this right. This is exciting. So, all right. Yeah. So let's have a look. Okay. Got my tools. Lou has his tools. Yeah, I got the tools. So the boundary is this club right here. So I'm going to do a little Happy Gilmore and start things off. Here we go. Getting serious. <laughs> All right, not bad. Oh, shit. <laughs> I try to stay left. <laughs> I don't do it often uh, enough. That's a, <laughs> that's a one nothing. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Throw number two. It's a good thing I'm throwing in this direction. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have to do some fancy hunting later. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ooh, that's passed. That's passed, yeah. That's passed. That could be good. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh! <laughs> just tomahawked it. He almost hit the sprinkler head and just stuck it. So what I did there was go for the tree. I beat you on that one. <laughs> Two, nothing. We gotta go check that one out. I think that one's pretty good. Oh, okay, good. All right. This is what we're doing, long drive. Huh? This is what we're doing, long drive. You hit some shots, you have someone walk over, and yeah. then you can zero in. Okay. 55? 61. 61, okay. Oh. <laughs> 62? 63 and a half. Okay, so it's close. 63 is 180 plus 10 is 190. Yeah. So I'm 10 feet off the record. What, how many more attempts? Uh, we'll, we'll cap it at three, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. last one is for the marbles. Damn it. Oh, there's a window. Oh. That's staying in bounds. Oh. Okay. That's it stayed in bounds. <laughs> Did that one start online? Um the little ish. Yeah, ish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, you went to the tree. Oh, it's too bad. <laughs> that yeah. could have been good, huh? Yeah. That could have been good, but it wasn't. <laughs> All right, Moo, you need another club? Yeah, I got one right here. Okay, good. All right. Oh, that's some bounds. Exercise. Exercise. <laughs> That should be good right there, man. Yeah. Sucks that it just stuck to the ground. Whoa. Like, it's gotta be 65. 69. <laughs> 69, oh my gosh. 
That's not it. <laughs> 61. Got 69. <laughs> that was a good one. So right 70 height. times three. That's a that we broke the record on that one right there. So <laughs> Mu Muir officially broken the record. But that hit the tree though, right, Sa? Yeah, you would have that one was good. That was 60. Okay. That would have been more if it didn't hit the tree. 63. 65. Okay. 65.7. All right. So Mu has one at 66 yards, te you know, technically, 65.7. Yeah. And at 69. Yeah, that one was a long one. So, take that. So that's 207, you, oh. 207 feet. 207 feet, okay. So we, <laughs> you've broken the record by eight feet so far. All right, so this is, and then you've tied me now. Yeah, I've tied right? you for, from last now year's record. Now we're tied. Yeah. So, so this is it. This is it. It's just one shot. Huh? One, one, one go at it. One or two. Two more. Two more. <laughs> two more. Two more. Okay, okay, here we go. I need to go higher. Oh my. Ooh. That had some velocity. Ooh, that was <laughs> some serious velocity. We needed <laughs> some height. Need some height, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So here we go. Damn it. There's a chance here. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I need a more running start here. There we go. Oh, 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 oh hit the tree. <laughs> Goaltender. <laughs> All right, Sav, final count. That last one. Well, what's cool about this is that with less of a run up, it's the trajectory was a little low. Right. Because the legs are not as That's engaged. It. But yeah. when you get a more running start, the legs get uh, more engaged. You got to really launch it. Yeah, you get to get a better tra trajectory. 63? 64. Yep. 64, okay. Is that the longest one? Okay, so Moo, Moo wins it. All right. Thanks, John. I'm going to get him. <laughs> I'm going to get him again. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a rematch this soon. So now let's look at how this happens during the golf swing itself, okay? And while, while we're talking about it right now, when you film yourself performing these swings, you will be flabbergasted at how incredibly powerful it's gonna look. All of the things that you've ever wanted in a golf swing, lag, weight shift, clearing the hips, it's all there. It'll all look amazing to you. See in ours right now how amazing that looks. Come here. Here. Oh. No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So now let's look at a couple of, I'm going to do a couple of four irons. Moo's going to do a couple of eight irons. So my smooth four iron basically is 200 yards and my firm four iron is about 215, right? So it's about one club. So I'm going to go the, it's 195 to the front of the tee box at the other end over there. So I'm going to hit a nice little fade that's going to start a little left of that white flag toward that tree and then bring it back toward the pine tree that you see in the distance there. So I've got an intermediate point right here that I'm staying left of. <clears throat> and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the club in that direction. So what's it look like? Throw. So I'm throwing the club left of that white flag in that direction. If I throw it from here, I miss, throw. If I throw it from here, I top. If I throw it from here, it feels like I'm going to hit it pretty solid. So 
All I'm looking for now is a nice dose of momentum to help me throw to the left edge of that intermediate point. Throw. So that started basically just singed the left edge of that white flag and that landed right there in front of the green. Very nicely done. So if I want to go further, I'm going to feel like I'm throwing it further. So let's have a look at that. There we go. Just have to strengthen that grip beautifully. Hey, and that landed on top of the deck instead of in front of the deck. So I just threw it a little bit further. Because I had to throw it further, I had to strengthen that grip a little bit more because that was even deeper through the ball. And that's what that tends to open the face. So you need to have a very strong grip in order for you to get a decent throw all the way through. So let's have a look at move. Nice. V pretty much where my first one ended up. The front of that tee box. Yeah. So, Moo. Damn it, I wanted the record. We're going to do a rematch next time. Well, okay. Yeah, well, that, yeah we'll have to. I'm going to have to get some practice going. Yeah. So, hope you enjoyed that. And you can really see how the task of throwing a club is going to pay huge dividends for your golf swing. Get to our premium channel at wisdomandgolfpremium.com and make sure you see the Goldilocks series. That's a series that's going to show you how to put the ball in the way of you throwing the club toward the target. And then understanding after that that it's not about contact. The ball is the intersection on the way to the target. So you're going to see the target confirmation series. And that's really going to help you break through that huge moment where you go from an OK swing to a PGA Tour quality swing with some big lag and some big ground forces. It's not that difficult to do. And you really won't have to practice very much. Okay? So hope you enjoyed that. And we'll see you next week.